All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, if the video looks a little weird and sounds a little off, I just picked up a new camera. So I'm trying this one out, hoping to shoot in like 4K and kind of compressing it to 1080 to see if the quality is a little better. I'm not sure if the audio is uh, decent, but if I go back and edit the video and find that the audio is a little off, I will probably just do a voiceover. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little quick update on how the Red Sea Reefer is doing. Um, well, I guess to start off, this clownfish you see on the screen right here, this guy has gotten super, super mean. If I can figure out how to autofocus. Um, anytime I put my hand on this left side of the, like the rock near this, this Ghani in the front, or just these few Ghanis in the front, this guy just starts going after my hand. At first it was just kind of like headbutting and nipping me, but these days he's actually starting to take a little skin off my fingers. And uh, it kind of just gives me a jump scare every once in a while. So yeah, he's not, he's not uh, the nicest guy. And yeah, just really aggressive. But the female, every time I put my hand in the tank, she kind of goes into this little cave in the back. So there's that. Um, to continue on, not sure why, every time I pick up the camera, my torches just start to go and start looking a little bad, but that one is, uh, I do see like a little bubble, and when you see bubbles on torches, kind of like near their mouths, don't panic, uh, it's actually a good sign, that means they're starting to split off, so there's that. Um, this pink acro, I guess um, I'm gonna start calling it a mini colony to be honest, or even a colony. This thing is starting to take off. You can kind of see the left side. Got multiple branches now. I actually like flipped it. So the bigger branches needs to be on the right side. So I kind of flipped the rock because I think that part was growing a little bit faster. So that's going to give this side of the uh, acro a better chance to grow. So hopefully uh, in uh, the upcoming months, I see this right side grow too. And I'll probably start fragging it a bit. Uh, in the back, we do have the Miyagi Tort. That one has been uh, growing vertically, or not, sorry, not vertically, horizontally out. But I do see a little tiny branch growing vertically up. The Oregon Tort, which is actually one of my favorite acros, has, uh, you know, it's kind of stunted. I'm really hoping this guy takes off soon. I do see him encrusting on the base, but not to the extent of that guy on the right. Um, moving on to the right side of this rock. This torch you see here, um, I actually won this from a giveaway on Instagram. Shout out to Broke Budget Reef. He, uh, I saw this like Instagram ad. He was doing a giveaway because he had like a, can't remember it was a thousand followers or so. But shout out to him. I actually just got lucky. So I encourage you guys to enter those little free uh, giveaways. Um, he actually sent me a frag rack over here on the right, that green one, from uh, Octo Aquatics. And I'm using it right now to hold some zoas. And I went ahead and picked up little mil Millie that he had for sale, just to kind of support him too, on top of giving away that free torch. So yeah, that one in the front right there. All right, moving on to the other torch, the Dragon Soul. Every time I pick up this camera, I swear, some of my torches just, these guys are the best actors. They just do not look happy, but when I put this thing down, it's perfectly fine. Uh, this guy, uh, I, do, I think I do see signs of splitting, but still doing just fine in that very spot. I know I told you guys I thought about moving this guy, but uh, I thought about it and I kind of like him there. So I just kind of left it. Moving on to my Euphilia garden. This green splatter hammer. I know it looks a little pale on camera and um, that's because uh, it actually started kind of paling out on me. Not sure if it's a nutrients problem or if it's more of um, like a flow problem. So I need to look into this. I might move this guy um, over here on the right side where uh, this little empty space is. But the other hammers are doing uh, just fine actually. This is pink one in the front. The gold one is starting to color up and finally recovering after losing a little head, a couple heads. The one in the back is starting to split actually. Not sure if it's, I think it's still single head but starting to split. And of course the OG hammers over here I do see like little babies growing out at the like base. Let me see if I can get this to focus good enough. You can kind of see it there. Gosh, I wish I knew how to use this camera better. Sorry, buddy. 
But uh, yeah, there's that. Have my just a regular green tip torch in the back. Of course, the Aussie torch I've been having for a while. Um, I I don't know if this guy is splitting. I know Aussies take a long, long time to split. And there's my Mandarin coming to say hi. I can finally get him on camera. It's been nice. Uh, I guess he's shy. <laughs> it's kind of just backing up. Um, moving on to the Duncan, starting to split a few heads. Zoas, um, this pink Sakura has kind of taken over this rock. AOIs are still growing in, but not to the extent of that guy. Zoom out a little bit. So as you guys can see on my sand bed, there is actually a lot of cyano. And uh, believe it or not, this is not the worst that I've seen uh, this week. Last week, man, I thought I thought it was over, to be honest. Cyano was just taking over, but as expected after um, dosing Vibrant to try to kill off the bubble algae. Um, I've actually stopped dosing Vibrant over the past two weeks because uh, I noticed that the bubble algae growth has started to slow down. And I do see those bubble algae turning pale and clear and kind of just falling off the rocks, but there is still growth, so... I might just dose just a little bit. Um, in my last video, somebody mentioned dosing like a milliliter, like a day or something, or a week, I can't remember. So I might try something like that. But you can kind of still see the bow algae on the rocks there. My yellow tang has actually been um, a big help in clearing the bubble algae, but the fox face there in the back, that guy has not been doing the job I thought he would. So it's fine. I mean, I know. All the fishes are different. Pikachu acro here. Um, I do notice that it is turning. It's not as colorful as I'd like it to be in the front, but whenever I look from the top down view, I'll probably show you guys a little bit of it in a diff in a bit. It looks perfectly fine and colored up, but from the front panel, it doesn't look as good. This acro is actually one I see that's kind of taking a hit. Not sure if it's from. All right, sorry guys, uh, my camera died. I wasn't looking at the battery. But uh, I guess to continue where I left off, I'll just start talking about fishes now. Um, Biota Yellow Ting is doing super nice. He's probably my best algae eater, to be honest. He does way more bulb algae work than my fox face. I might look to rehome that guy. Um, I do have a red flash arrest right there. As you can see, it kind of adds a nice pop. Um, I do believe she is a female and Maybe it will transition to male in the next few months or so. So that'd be kind of interesting, cool to look at. Um, here's my Coral Beauty. Thankfully, uh, this one has not started to uh, nip at my corals. So, so far, so good. To Mini Tang, probably the worst algae eater I have. Doesn't even eat um, seaweed, to be honest, <laughs> that I feed, which is crazy. So he's kind of just chilling. But yeah, it kind of does it for the fish. Um, I haven't seen my yellow sister today. Uh, I think he's somewhere in the rocks. Every time I get worried um, and I feed the tank, I see him come out. So hopefully nothing bad happened to him. I do have a little green mandarin somewhere that's uh, kind of roaming around. He's super camera shy. It's really hard to get a good picture of him. But he's still doing well. And uh, I've been checking on the pod population at night. I do see them still on the glass. And I actually have uh, some of those uh, ampo how do you say it? Ampopods? I see them all the time on my frag rack, so it's kind of interesting. Probably show you guys a little quick uh, top down overview, and yeah, we'll move to the sump. Alright, so here's a little quick overview of the top down. You can kind of see the Zoas, some of the other Zoas I have. Zooming in, I got the GMKs right there. The mind tricks on the bottom left that I just picked up and the exospheres that have been growing out for a little while. Zooming out, kind of see the nice, sorry, the camera's a little too big now. Um, nice pink acro that I was talking about. Kind of see those branches. In the front, it looks a little like pale and weird, but from the top down, you can definitely see the more pink out of it. I think the radion reflections are picking up on the camera. Sorry about that. Um, well, we do have the Dragon Tamer Torch right there. Looks real nice. And of course, we got the Miami Hurricane. Moving on to the right side, this acro right here, you can kind of see what I'm talking about whenever I'm talking about the colors. Kind of getting all splattered. 
Let's see if I can cover this reflection. It's kind of dark now, but yeah, it just looks a little funkier. But there's a Pikachu that I was talking about. I always show this guy off every time I do one of these videos, just because it looks so nice. And uh, yeah, golden rod. Oh, here's the green Mandarin. Oh man, it's too dark. I don't think the camera will pick him up. But yeah, kind of about does it. Where is he? Let me zoom out. I lost him. He's flying up somewhere. All right, moving on to the sump frag tank. As you can see, I have a bunch of like zoas and stuff growing out. Nothing too crazy. Um. I do have a lot of stuff on like little tiles growing out. Just stuff I can like sell and try to keep some uh, money flowing back into the hobby. But yeah, just kind of really tiny. Don't have many frags. Um, one thing that really does suck about um, doing this is, gosh, Aptasia and the, the sump really sucks and it spreads like so quick. So I did whip out F Aptasia and killed off a bunch. But uh, yeah, they are just slowly coming back. So kind of sucks, but it's kind of how it is. And um, for those of you that, uh, I used to keep like a little rock in my slump. I just kind of back then, brought a rock over to kind of help cycle my tank. Um, I recommend that you guys probably take that out. It kind of just builds a lot of detritus and it's kind of a pest magnet. So make sure you guys remember to take those kind of rocks out. And it's pr probably better to keep your slump a little empty, I guess. Where you can keep uh, all your other gear before it gets all too packed. But yeah, just really simple stuff. Lights here, let me turn it to the whites. You can kind of see, um, gosh, all like the cyan and stuff picking up over here on my filter floss. Probably change this guy out this weekend. Oh yeah, I did forget to mention, I do have the Kessel A80 running the sump light right now. But I'm noticing some of the zoas at the bottom kind of stretching upwards. So uh, I actually got a, um, AI, what's it called? AI Prime HD. So I'll be replacing this guy. I wanted to show off this little simple shelf I built. Things were a little messy and um, I was like, you know what? I could probably use some shelves here to hold some stuff. So this one just currently holds all like my um, additives and tests. Um, pretty simple stuff. Just got a little wooden plank. Two of those little L brackets and mounted them there. Got one right there and one right there. So I was kind of proud of it actually. It's like my first time building a shelf. I guess like the simplest shelf you can make. But uh, yeah, there it goes. Alright, and last but not least, I did forget to mention this. Um, part of my uh, goal this year was to also fix this AliExpress light bar. So I originally bought this to help kind of uh, battle out shade in my acros and just kind of help light things up better in the top of the tank. But um, yeah, I kind of just bought the wrong stuff and it was mounted kind of like straight instead. Straight down, so it was kind of hitting my firmophilia or the hammer garden. And my Zoas, which, which I wasn't really targeting those guys. I was trying to target my torches and acros. So I finally got the uh, correct screws and mount, and now um, it kind of bends backwards. Kind of uh, how I wanted it to be. So that's kind of what it looks like now. So super happy with how um, that turned out. All right, so that kind of wraps up this week's video. These guys are going crazy because I just fed some uh, brine shrimp into the tank. But if you guys liked um, today's video, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe. And uh, once again, I do want to apologize if the video quality is as good. I'm still tinkering with this camera and just um, eventually just trying to get the channel quality better. So hopefully uh, after, you know, maybe a few more videos, I'll be kind of um, up to date with this camera. But yeah, appreciate everybody for tuning in and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.